Hi everyone, welcome to Race to IAS Current Affairs Guru. Today we are going to look into the topic Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act or popularly known as MG Narega. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more updates. So why was MG Narega recently in news? For most rural workers dependent on the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, their labor does not end at the work site. And this was seen in the study recently done by Liptech India released on Wednesday, which said that many of them are forced to make multiple trips to the bank, adding travel costs and income losses, face repeated rejections on payment, biometric errors and wrong information just to get their hands on their wages. Some of them even have to make multiple trips to the bank just to know that their wages are credited and even when they are credited it is not visible on the accounts and so on and the COVID-19 pandemic situation has made it more worse and difficult for them. So what is MG Narega? MG Narega which is the largest work guarantee program in the world was enacted in 2005 Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Development Act 2005 with the primary objective of guaranteeing 100 days of wage employment per year to rural households. Secondly, it aims at addressing the causes of chronic poverty. Chronic poverty is a situation or the type of poverty where a person is undergoing through poverty for a prolonged period of time. So MG Narega addresses this problem through the works that are undertaken and by ensuring sustainable development. Finally, there is an emphasis on strengthening the process of decentralization because all the works are coordinated and there is a significant role for the Panchayati Raj institutions in planning and implementing these works. What are the key features of MG Narega? First, legal right to work. The Act provides a legal right to employment for adult members of rural households and at least one third of the beneficiaries should be women and the wages are paid according to the Minimum Wages Act of 1948 unless the central government notifies a wage rate which should not be less than 60 rupees 60 per day and at present the wage rates are determined by the central government but it varies across the states. Next, time-bound guarantee of work and an unemployment allowance. Employment must be provided within 15 days of being demanded and if failed, unemployment allowance must be given. Decentralized planning, which we have already talked about, the Gram Sabhas must recommend the works that have to be undertaken and at least 50% of the works must be executed by them and the Panchayati Raj institutions are primarily responsible for planning, implementation and monitoring of these works. Next, worksite facilities. All worksites should have the facilities such as crashes, drinking water and first aid. Transparency and accountability. There are provisions for proactive disclosure through wall writings, citizen information boards, management information system and social audits which are conducted by Grama Sabhas to enable the community to monitor the implementation of the scheme. Next, funding. Funding is shared between the center and the states. There are three major items of expenditure, one wages for unskilled, semi-skilled and skilled labor and material and administrative costs. The central government bears 100% of the cost of unskilled labor, 75% of the cost of semi-skilled and skilled labor and 75% of the cost of materials and 6% of the administrative costs. Now let us look at few questions. Which year was MG Narega enacted? 2014, 2015, 2020, 2000. The right answer is 2015. Who bears the funding of MG Narega? Center, state, both A and B, none of these. The right answer is both A and B, that is the center and the state. That's all about the topic today. Thank you and have a nice day.